Do you hear me? Young people, don't be afraid. Be focused. <laughs> be determined. Be hopeful. Like most women, I know how it feels to be overlooked, to be underestimated, <laughs> to have someone only half listen to your ideas at a meeting, <laughs> to see them turn to the man next to you, the man you supervise, and assume he's in charge. blessed child. Maybe I didn't have much money, but I was blessed with the love of a father and a mother who uh, gave me gifts that were priceless. Mm -hmm. um, and for that, I owe so much. So I think about that. I think about making them proud. I was allowed to speak my mind at three and four. They asked my opinion. My parents didn't go to university. We didn't have a lot of money. They fought for me, they sacrificed, they saved. I had an older brother who went ahead of me, but it wasn't enough that he went to one of the finest universities in the country. I saw him and I thought, well, if he can do it, I can do it, because I know I'm smarter than him. When we were first married, our combined monthly student loan bill was actually higher than our mortgage. Yeah, we, we were so young, so in love, and so in debt. <laughs> Today, we know that we can no longer let our kids eat whatever they want. We have to change those notions that girls are only valuable for their reproductive capacity. The ability to read, write, and analyze. The confidence to stand up and demand justice and equality. All of that starts with education. You see, in this race, we, we have a candidate whose vision for our country is completely and utterly lacking in hope. A candidate who calls on us to turn against each other, to build walls, to be afraid. Yeah.